We're always so focused on how to create that we often forget to focus on reasons why we create. It might be different for each person, but whether we enjoy drawing, coloring, stenciling, using certain textures or patterns, knowing the whys can help us tap into those creative moments. Stay with me until the end of this video as I will show you a simple tip to tap into your own moments so it can help you during those times that you just can't create. I find it so easy to create when I'm happy. I have tons of ideas flowing through my head, but creating when I'm sad, tired, or frustrated is difficult. It reminds me of a quote I read many years ago while sitting for hours at an orthodontist office. The quote said, laugh when it rains, any fool can do so when the sun shines. I always connected with it so much. Mind you, I was 15 at the time. So the problems I faced then were not as daunting as probably what they are now. But I had just moved to Canada from Venezuela as a teenager, leaving everything I knew behind, everything that was familiar to me, and I entered a very new and different culture. Although I had my family, and it's the best decision my parents ever made, that move impacted my whole life. I faked so many smiles so my parents wouldn't think I'm sad. If you've ever seen the movie Inside Out, you'd know what I mean. And my life continued as a roller coaster of ups and downs over the years, like any life. But what was always constant in my life was art and creativity. Whether it was doodling in my notebooks during boring high school classes, to trying out painting with acrylics, pastels, or watercolors, and I even tried sculpting. I eventually landed on scrapbooking in 2003 when my son was two years old. I fell in love with scrapbooking not only because I was able to chronologically mark my kids' lives, which I stopped very soon after, but it opened up my eyes to another form of creativity. And that led me eventually to start a blog, join design teams, and ultimately start my YouTube channel and teach mixed media to all of you. I have no formal training in art or teaching for that matter. Even though I applied to teacher's college, twice without success. I wanted to be a high school teacher. God knows what I was thinking. But I knew I was meant to be a teacher. It was just a different type, I guess. This taught me a very valuable lesson. Our life's paths might not turn out the way we thought it they would, but sometimes it turns out even better. It also offered me something even more valuable. It granted me a life full of art. I believe art not only provides a purpose to our own existence, but art can also be healing because it creates a connection between our mind and body. Unlike exercise, which works on our bodies, or meditation, which clears our minds, creating art accesses both mind and body together to promote healing. And when things in our lives stop us from creating, like they often do, art is there waiting for us like a loyal friend. And all we have to do is tap into those creative moments we love, like stenciling, painting, layering, or coloring. Or you can tap into the reasons why we create, for relaxation, healing, maybe you're coloring a card for someone you love, or creating a canvas to sell in your shop. No matter what the reason, remembering why you create and connecting it to how you create will help you tap into that intuitive creativity you already have inside of you. And if you still doubt it, I have a video for you right here with tips to help you become a more confident artist and embrace your creative journey when you feel that you just can't create.